shows that what used to be the province of big governments with vast spying apparatuses is now just the day-to-day -day of big business. And what you're seeing is that that information needs to be de-identified or anonymized to be consistent with privacy rule and then get sold through bro brokers and used for competitive advantage by hedge funds. It's a new world and there's very little uh, in place that's concrete about what the rules of the road are. Hackers can do a lot of things, John, and you know that. And so I'm wondering, what are the chances you think that before that, that information gets uh, anonymized or de-identified, you know, the identity is stripped away from the actual data, um, that it can actually be hacked into and, and used by bad actors? I think cybersecurity is a real concern, and you put your finger on it. One is... And it may not be just that a bad guy is doing it, but just uh, the place that you're buying the information from has failed to adequately de-identify to make the information separate from an individual person. That's one risk. Second risk is bad guy gets the information in bulk, and they're not so interested in what the trends are on buying pants, right? They're interested in seeing whether this is, uh, there's a facility that they can target for economic espionage or other purposes. And the third, and a warning to, uh, to your watchers in the hedge fund industry, would be if you end up buying and not doing due diligence information that has material non-public uh, quality to it, then it's just like any other insider trading case, and you may find yourself on the wrong end of an investigation. And that, Leslie, it's interesting because this is data that uh, it might be publicly available if you have a satellite or right. if you are a hedge fund who has access to purchasing it. Is there a way for the public to be able to either opt in or not to the collection of this data or to profit from it? The problem with opting in or not is that it's not transparent exactly how this data supply chain functions and who it gets sold to. I mean, you look at a lot of these privacy statements that, you know, you, you kind of check that box and it's a lot of legal language. Oftentimes they say they share the data. They don't always even specify that they are actually selling that data on down the chain. And um, what he was mentioning with regard to insider trading, um, Oftentimes we're seeing hedge funds sign exclusive agreements with these data providers, which a lot of lawyers that we're speaking to say that that is kind of a gray area from a legality standpoint because you basically have signed an, ex an exclusive agreement with a data provider to have to be the only entity that has access to viewing that kind of data. It raises a lot of questions about whether that's legal or not. So lawyers are bringing up the question of legality at this point. Absolutely. And the, the problem is that the law is really unclear from them at this point regarding mm -hmm. so-called alternative data and the use of hedge funds. So people are trying to kind of figure it out as they go and hope that they don't, you know, step on any landmines here. Um, but we talked to uh, alternative data providers at some of the largest hedge funds, brand name hedge funds that you and I both know very well. They have, you know, compliance protocols where they try and kind of see through each step of the data collection process. But even for them, it's, it's really, really difficult. And hedge funds are very concerned about a blowback both on a regulatory standpoint and on a legal standpoint. It'll take stage. just a, a sheriff of a, of a deputy attorney general or attorney general, exactly. right, John, to, mm -hmm. to sort of make, decide that they want to set a precedent in this area. And I'll say, talking to former uh, colleagues who are prosecutors and working as regulators at SEC, this is an area that they're very interested in, and I think looking to make test case. I think there are four concerns for a company who's thinking about doing this. One uh, is the privacy concern. Two, as we talked about, is cybersecurity. Three is reputational, and what might seem okay today, when pieces like yours really explain where the information is coming from and how it's being used, may right. not be okay uh, tomorrow. And the fourth is this so-called uh, blue sky laws where you may see enforcement by state attorneys general who say, hey, this just looks uh, unfair and like you're gaining an unfair market advantage.